Hi everyone, I'm Henna Maria, founder of Dawn of Peace. And today I have the absolute joy and privilege to introduce to you two wonderful men from Finland. That's actually my home country and my mother tongue. So we're going to do our best to, to have this conversation in English, although we all speak Finnish. So um, I would like to introduce to you Juho Lyytikäinen and Samuli Perälä. These are groundbreaking pioneering activists from Finland. And um, I will let you actually introduce yourselves. So would you start by just sharing a little bit about your background and what are your values and, and passions in life? Okay, so I can start. My, my name is Juho Lyytikäinen and I'm now 40 years old. I have studied to be as an engineer and I graduated like 15 years ago, but then I made a profession a few years and I found out that this is not my kind of life that I want to live. Like I want to make something more for the society. So I studied a lot about how the um, how everything works. And in 2008, I kind of like woke up. I saw like the documentary called Zeitgeist, Zeitgeist. I don't know how to call it, how to pronounce it, but maybe you got it. And there I found out that this 9-11, it was a complete like, uh, it's the, like the totally different thing happened than the mainstream media told us. So then I started to woke up and find out these conspiration theories about everywhere. And it's like this, it's a process that it looks like it never ends. Like all the time I'm finding more and more things. So at one point I started to realize like, okay, I have so much information and what to do with this. So I need to use this for somehow like, and now I've been making videos and then I thought like, okay, like I need to do also something else time to speak about. And then I found out that, okay, maybe it's the politics because politics are making the rules and the laws that, that we need to follow. So that's one, one way, like how I'm trying to make my own little help for this, for this world. That's great. Juha, would you say, um, what are your like main values and, and what sparks you up as a, as a soul? What are your passions in life? Uh, six years ago, I got this like spiritual awakening. So I was until that far, like completely materialistic, atheistic. And then like in one night, everything changed. So I've, from that point on, I have started to like read a lot, find out a lot, like who I am, why are we here? And the values, those comes from the book called uh, Conversation with God. It's like a three series of the books and there is like this love, joy and truth. And those are my values. Beautiful. I really resonate with that. Yeah, love, joy and truth. Well, thank you, Juho. What about you, Samuli? To share a little bit about your background and also your, your um, values and, and passions in life. Okay, so let's start. Um... With my my former profession, I was uh, um, um, I graduate from from I don't know what what to call it in English uh, about uh, in in uh, from sport institute in Varala Urheilopisto in Tampere. Yeah. So so I'm um, and uh, from from then on. I have been uh, working with uh, um, with athletes and and with the well wellness the wellness field, and and that's my my kind of professional uh, career about twenty years now in wellness with nutrition and 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 sports and and. But um, uh, in 2005, 2005, I was going to uh, Brazil. I was going to move there and start to live there. So I have 
a little book book with me and and there was uh, Michael Moore uh, Michael Moore's book about the 911 uh, I think Juho mentioned it too uh, and and that was awakening call for me and and from then on about 15 15 years now I have studied a lot of things going on in our society and when I have three three children three girls three little girls no not so little anymore uh, uh, so when they were uh, babies I was uh, uh, seven years in in home with them so so I was like like a, how do you say home father <laughs> yeah say? stay at, stay at my, home parents. yeah yeah that was my ma- main job and, and 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 part uh entrepreneur so so then i um kind of wake my awakening was about the vaccine the vaccine industry and the vaccine uh and what is it and what's the history of vaccine and how 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 was it and I, I i start to study it i start to learn everywhere i can uh, uh about the issue so in uh, 2013 uh, we was uh, we uh, organized a lecture series of lecture that Susan Humphreys, the doctor of uh, medicine, and 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 she was uh, she visited in Finland and made a series about the vaccine, vaccine industry, and all, all these um, lies. What is 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 there, and and we were organized that with my ex-wife, so. Wow, I had no idea, Samuli, that you were doing that because I've seen the video from I think it was in Tampere Talo or, or where where uh, Suzanne Humphreys was having the lecture, and I thought, wow, who managed to get her to, all the way to Finland? And it was you. <laughs> I didn't know yeah. that. So well yeah, done. Uh, yeah, I was in the background. Maybe it's uh, the, the the honor goes to my ex-wife uh, more than than me, but I was uh, kind of organizing in background and all the uh, practical things yeah then. the logistics I, and so on yeah yeah, yeah. And, and it it was great it was great and and that was my like my awakening was was more more like this um medical medical side of things and then uh about three four years uh from that so it's uh, like 10 years now from now i was uh, starting to study all the things in politics and money and money industry and banking systems and and then so so i was kind of uh what is a pyhittä elämä yeah like you dedicated dedicated your yeah, life yeah 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 i dedicated to 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 get more more in information and and, and 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 seeing things and and then <clears throat> so here here I am and now and start to share share things that I recognize and 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 start my own channel it was a uh, a little bit surprised how how much people start to follow and and now I much have much followers and like you also and 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 that's that feels good and of course to share yeah, yeah. So what's the point of having all that information if you keep it to yourself so at some point we yeah. get like a push uh, like a inner inner push like you gotta start sharing that so Samali, how yeah. would you describe your your values and and passions uh, as okay. a soul yeah okay so i think i'm you uh, Juho said that he is uh, like atheist uh, person but i i say i i'm 
I like uh, used to be, yeah, yeah used to yeah yeah, yeah. yeah used to be used yeah. to be, of course and and I I was like when I was six or seven eight years old little little boy so I uh, recognize already then there that the, the God is everywhere and and every everything is like this uh, trip of the soul I think somehow in inside i i always uh, knew that and then i get to have more words about it and and in 2008 i think it's 2008 i i get this kind of same kind of uh awakening more more deeply and everything changed after that and i think um now it's it's more more um listening about the I, I call it the holy spirit that uh, how how the holy spirit wants to use me so so i just listen and and try to do my best <laughs> that's yeah. beautiful so you're really uh, following a guidance that you, you feel there is a guidance and a, and a connection to something much bigger than us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, both of you have a similar story in a sense that that you were exposed to an event uh, in our history or in our very recent history and discovered that there is a completely other uh, side to the story that wasn't shared anywhere and that it was... Um, a manipulation basically the way we were told um, about the events from 9-11 and then uh, that was like a catalyst for you to begin to look into the other things it's interesting I've had a similar thing myself as well and for me it started I have to say for me it started with uh, animal rights like I didn't realize what um, what the animal industry is like and, but by looking into that and seeing, oh my God, they use gas chambers to kill pigs and this kind of things, I went deeper and deeper into realizing how we're not told about what's really going on in our world and in our societies and through there to different industries and the politics and the money. And one thing leads to another. It's like you get a thirst for truth and then you just can't stop it after that, isn't it? Um, so... Tell us what you are doing right now in Finland. What is your project? So you both became active. You started your own channels. You started sharing the message uh, of like medical freedom and uh, like your critique about vaccines and, and, you know, criticizing society basically and just sharing awareness about the things that are the, the issues of our modern society. And then what happened after that? Where are you right now? Do you want mm -hmm. you to start? I can start. Well, a few years ago, I started to make those YouTube videos and the most like, uh, how, how do you say? Most public, most like viewed had have got like 50,000 views. And that's 1% of Finnish popula popul mm. population. Population. Population, yes. <laughs> so it's quite big amount of people, and it's it was last summer. It was quite nice to see when we went to some demonstrations, and then like a lot of people get, came there to thank me and like and say that I've been I have been doing great job. So it was really nice to hear like whoa like like these things that I'm doing like they make they make a purpose. So this that's the thing that I've been doing like mainly for now but also i'm in a political group called crystal party in finland and it lies on the it's 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 on it's on a spiritual uh, ground so we we do our best to realize that everything is one so and try to learn the and try to see the things from the perspective of forgiveness and that we all have our stories and all the nasty things from there. So, so that's the thing, like, 
I realized like we need to do something else than to find out the information and to deliver the information because what to do like okay now we everybody knows what's going on here everybody's who is willing to willing to accept the information so now like okay we need to uh, direct our like our doing also somehow and that's the thing now like this crystal party it's now in the in the face of the i hope that it's now in the face of the rapid rapid growing it has been founded seven years ago by a group of women who were just meditating and thinking before the meditation like okay like why like politicians are so corrupted why they always lie and then they, they just got the like the answer in the meditation and it came like you need to find found a party yourself and they were like what we no way <laughs> and then it was like yes you and then like okay like <laughs> and we need to follow it and it's yeah. the same thing happened with the name like okay so what's the name and it came crystal party oh no no that's too hippie or something but it was given so that's like things have been going all the time and it's like it's really nice because all the people there are spiritual and it's like full of joy our like things that we are doing and now i feel that it has the magnetism to like collect a lot of people. Yeah. And the story, how do you feel the, the name of the party? How does it reflect the values of what kind of work you want to do? It's really nice because crystal to be like a perfect, it needs to be clear, transparent, but it has all the colors also when the light comes, comes through it. Yeah. So the same in society, like we have so many secrets, what our government is doing, and we shouldn't have them. If they are working for us, why, why do they have secrets? And of course, we like need to understand that we have different kind of opinions, but we can, we can make the best out of them all, like all of them. Yeah. How can you come to collaborate in a good way if you don't first have tr transparency? Mm -hmm. And how can you trust if you don't have transparency? So I, yes. I love that, the crystal as, a, as an image for the values and the goals that you have as a political party. Yeah, it sounds a bit too hippie, like a lot of people is like, oh, the name is too strange. But after you like found out what it means and you give some time to it, then you start to love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So Samuel, you are also part of this crystal political party in Finland. Yeah, yeah, I, I am. Uh, but How did that I, come to be from, from you starting to share your, your message and organizing these, these events with Susan Humphreys? And how did, how did you get to this point from there? How was your journey? Okay, uh, the main reason is that this guy, this, this other guy, this Juho, <laughs> Juho guy. <laughs> So, so because um, um, when we met, I feel feel really deep connection, and 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 then and when I when I first uh, first uh, get in, uh, uh, get get the phone call to Juho, uh, so I was calling him because of the Crystal Party, and I want to ask some question and what is it and how how is it and how 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 things are going and 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 that sort of things about a one year ago so so and and when when it uh now i i think it's it's like um new new, new coming uh to uh, the crystal party right now because it's it's like uh is it uh, six years old or seven years? Seven years. How, what? Seven. Seven. Okay, so seven years, and and, and now it's the uh, new time to come come forward, and 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 I think um, it's for me. It's uh, it's clear that if I am going to be uh, a part of some some party. So it is the crystal party because there is no other that I'm interested at all. And, and 
I am not so so uh, uh, kind of active or or um, than than you than Juho in this uh, uh, party, but I am. Um, what what my interest is is uh, more to gather the people under one uh, strong organization. So I I I said uh, I said it best that mm, in my opinion that we need a, a strong uh, organization to be uh, where people can co can come and, and 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 then we can make make a difference so i i don't know my my question today is uh, is it possible to to uh, make make the difference in the in this uh, old system this old political system or should we start a whole new new thing new system i don't know that's my question. Yeah, it's a very relevant question. So do, do you feel that with the Crystal Party, your, your aim is to try to get into the old platform and then introduce new ideas? Is this the kind of way that you're seeing what you could do? Okay, um, Juho, can I, can I answer first? Sure. Okay. So I think uh, the, the first things, first thing that we have to do is, uh, I think, uh, get this uh, train stopped. What is right now going uh, quite, uh, quite fast. So we have to pull, pull the emergency brakes, and stop the train. So I think we have to get the information everywhere and then the people can decide and then the people will do it the uh, uh, break the emergency break and then we have then we, after that we can start to build and i think right. we have to first uh, uh, make the make the big big break okay okay you hope so the old system and the new new system like i think like like we can't directly like some in some magic way magical way jump from the old to the new one there needs to be some middle middle place and this middle thing it's either anarchy a police state or it goes like more organized way that's how i feel it and like like most of the people in our government, they are corrupted or somehow like, like too much, too full of fear or blind to not see what's happening. But now we have these local elections and then like their people is much more awake also in other, in other parties and, and, and especially the uh, voters uh, like the common people, they are much more awake than the media is telling us. So now when we organize, like we can have like a lot of people, if we have like uh, these candidates enough, we can have a lot of people in the, in the rooms where they are like choosing what to do in our local communities. I don't know how to call this Kunnalis Valtuusto, but... Okay, like city, city council. City council, yes. Yeah. We have the city council elections coming after two months. So I think we don't need to have there like in every council like 50 person to make a difference. There is like if we get one there, that's enough. If one per person is there speaking from their heart the truth, it's really difficult for the others to not listen to that. So now that when there are only these like big big parties, the old parties, if they are only there. Like it's really difficult for any individual to speak against the top of the party. Mm -hmm. But now if there is one people speaking the truth, it's much more difficult for them to, to any more go against their own, uh, own uh, conscience. Go non-conscious. Yeah. 
And from that on, like things will spread, light will spread. That, that seems like a really uh, good organic way to get the message across from the kind of like a grassroots level. Because mm -hmm. it seems like in many, many structures of society, it's exactly the, the higher uh, hierarchies, which is almost impossible for us to have any contact with because they've already been kind of bought by some multinational industries or uh, you know, central governance systems and they have been lobbied and you know, they've been, their mouths has just been sealed. So what I see with the work we do, for example, with uh, collaborating with the Police for Freedom is that the way to influence is talking to the regular people. So, you know, like the, the police officers on the street they are a lot more open to the message of freedom than like the heads of the department. And I, I believe it's a similar thing in the politics that rather than trying to address, you know, the members of the parliament can be very difficult. It can be easier to start on the city, city council level with the people that live in your own community. So there's also like you're beginning to establish a trust between people you actually know in the real life whose children are maybe going to the same school and they're sharing the same community. So it's a lot more difficult for, for these guys to betray, you know, their people when you are establishing real connections on this kind of grassroots level. Yes, and I think both of you know this theory about the 100 monkey, monkeys. Yeah. And that's the thing that I'm like expecting here to happen also, like when pe just enough people is stepping out and showing like, okay, now we're starting to move, we start to do things, then other, other people will follow. And the same thing with the truth. When, when just enough people start to speak the truth, it will start to spread and it, will, it, will, it, it might happen like really like explosive way, like suddenly there comes like big difference. Yeah, I think people are fundamentally thirsty for truth, you know, that when we're, we've gotten so used to just being lied to and uh, manipulated for, for decades that when somebody spe begins to speak the truth, it, it is like this magnetism that you are describing. You just feel drawn to it and attracted to it because you feel, you know, on a core level that you re resonate with that. Yes, and like... Now what I'm reading in social media, a lot of people who has known the truth for years now, now they are like asking like, what can we do? Like I, I read that like almost every day I can find it from the Facebook walls. People is questioning like, what can we do? So now this is the tool to make a change. And this is what we are offering. So can you tell a little bit more about the concrete steps or the visions that you have with your party? How do you want to introduce your goals how are you planning to you know pull the emergency break what are the subjects that you want to bring to the awareness of the people well we have now these 11 theses in our website and i i don't correctly remember everything but it's like the like everybody should have value in their life also the elderly people now we are just like chemically chemically sizing them like putting like full of medication so they can think anymore or move or, or have any kind of uh, like a joy in their life. So we need to realize like, okay, we are going to be old also ourselves. So let's like give them decent life also like, with healthy food and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. And then there are like, all, well, we say about the mon monetary system that it should be renewed. That's causing like, like most of the problems here. And well, all kind of things like the like the big parties, they are they are silent. But let, then when common people read our thesis, they are like, whoa, these are these really resonate. Like, and we agree with them all. And people is just wondering, like, why? Why our media, why are politicians, why they are why they don't speak about this at all? So the thing is that just, we just need to get our message to spread and for that we need people and of course like when there is there haven't been like enough people yet in these seven years but now I feel it's the time like we've been we've been, these seven years we've been trying like okay is the time ready already for us 
And for the moment, it's been like just waiting. But now, because of this corona, it has it has been kind of a gift also because a lot of people has had to stop and to think about how we are living, and they have been they have been waking up for the for the lies, and that's the feedback that I'm getting also most like many times from my videos, like people thanks thank me, yeah, and even even in the way that you like you learn me how to think myself. You taught me how to think myself. Like I can make my own thoughts and I can speak out them. So that's been quite nice to hear. But yes, like now, like it's the next next step. Now we need to just activate the people, not only to get the information and spread the information, but to do something about it. Like and and the best thing I think like to do is to go inside the politics where the where the laws are made. Samuli, have you got some something to add also? Yeah, yeah, and then Crystal Party will um, make make their own statements about every uh, important uh, issues in in our society. So when you go to the page, you you see the eleven theses that you have mentioned, and then there is uh, like every. Um, every uh, um, the important thing that in, that it uh, so 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 I can take a leaflet where the eleven theses are so I can like speak them yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. How do you envision um, that these these theses can change the society? H have you got an idea of how they could be? Uh, implemented, or what are the most important things right now you think that needs ch needs change in the society in Finland? The most important. So, like I say before, it's the, of course, the first things first. So we have to, you know, like like I say, we have to pull the brake brakes. So because right now, the the main thing that is happening, it's. It's like mm, I have no words about the thing that that happened now, right now, in our, uh, in um, in front of our eyes. So it's uh, it's um, to do like, with the whole Corona thing. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and especially right now because the vaccine started, and that's what I call the genocide. That is happening. So people are not uh, seeing this this thing, and I don't know what uh, 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 have to happen. Do we have to see really um, a lot of deaths and and the terrible things before the the big crowd, the mainstream, will wake up? I don't know. I don't know, but it's it's going right now in front of our eyes. So yeah. Um, and and that I think we have to see first. The like the I think it's the the main thing is the masks and the vaccines. Yeah. Because the ma mask, what what they are doing in a with our children and 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 the older people. And that's terrific. Um, I don't know. Don't have the words. Yeah. It's so inhumane and so oppressive the, and so fast, this, this shift that has started to happen in society. And it's almost like people have forgotten completely what human rights are and that, that we have the right to uphold them even in a health crisis that the government don't have the authority to remove our rights at any state because that is one of the stages of genocide like like you mentioned yourself um and the, and we have to my vision is that we have to begin to call it for what it is and say you know masking children is child abuse forced isolation is imprisonment and torture you know and and stop you know like trying to be politically correct correct about these things because uh it's the time is not on our side. So, so my 
uh, response to that is just to be a lot more strong in in our activism for calling it what it is so people yeah. can see you know yeah you were right we have to speak the truth and speak their words right like like it is we yeah. can't we, can, we cannot change the words and and soften it we yeah. have to say it to like raw exactly like it is and and my uh, my, my um the, how I see the things that that I want to say now is uh, um, the Holy Spirit that I mentioned, which is which uh, which, uh, which uh, is the God Spirit in in every everywhere and and in round in a, in a, around of of us and and. And the spirit uh, speak within every one of us, so it will uh, it will help if there is somebody who wants to do something. So if 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 people let the spirit guide them, so there there is no uh, walls or obstacles that we cannot break and and cannot win. But if if we do things with our own own strength, like the human little strengths, then uh, we, we we will not make it. So so everyone have have to just listen what the spirit is talking to them, and then make their their own own part, and that's enough. Yeah. And, and when when you if you have the big, big, uh, like big mission or big uh, part, then then your your duties is is is, is some something big, and if if you your duty is something small, it's it's also just important. So so everybody has to do their their part. Their part. So yes. Everyone has a role to play yeah, yeah, and yeah. something to give. And we all have different strengths and different gifts. And I think you're absolutely right, Samuli, in that, that we just have to feel the guidance to what we're called to do and then offer that and be in service in this time. So Juho, you have the, the 11 uh, thesis there for the Crystal Political yeah. Party. Yeah. So these are like the number one is that the life has a spiritual dimension or the base. And that's the main thing, like, like the Samuli said, like this Holy Spirit is guiding us. And how I feel is the Holy Spirit it many times speaks through our consciousness. And the number two is that I, we need to like reorganize our health care. Because now it's like monopolized with the big big pharma companies, so there is a lot of these natural treatments and medications that we should use, and to and to and to use them side by side, or even like much more to the more natural way. Yeah, I, I understand there is some kind of uh, pro proposal, or has it even been made into law? This puaskarilaki. This, um, so it's called so kind of quack law. Uh, from what I understand, one of my friends was explaining that they're trying to outlaw and make illegal more natural medicines and make it more difficult for anyone who's a practitioner, a practitioner of some kind of holistic therapy to have a license to be doing that. So- Yes, that includes homeopathy, acupuncture, even this traditional Finnish massaging way, Kalevala massage. Yeah, and all, all kind of natural things like they try to like how do you say M make them not not legal anymore. Yeah, and that that goes directly against your bodily sovereignty and medical freedom. We should all have the right to to choose our our healthcare, and especially if it's you know available, you can grow your own herbs and and heal yourself, then that, that should be encouraged. So I, I love uh -huh. that. <laughs> That's part of your thesis. Uh -huh. And then the number three was this, like that we, all of us, we are growing old, so we should protect our elderly people. Number four, 
that we need to protect our nature because nature is giving the life for us. And that's horrible thing also to see what we are doing. Right? And in Finland, like, like, like the big companies are now going to buy our like the water, water rights if we, are not, if we don't stand up. Wow. And and Finland is one of the most uh, rich resources for, for clean water, right? Because of yeah. the, like almost 200,000 lakes and just mm -hmm. crystalline clear clear water. So I didn't, I wasn't aware of that, that there is this movement now starting to happen, that the big companies are trying to take over the water supply. Yes, and it's also the mining rights, like these multinational corp corporations, they own like, it was like, one seventh of Finnish like lands, they have the right to put their mines if they want, and that's like crazy amount of land. Yeah. And what we what what, what we see from the Finland like there is also one one big catastrophe that destroyed a lot of nature. Uh, it's called Talvivara, like like winter danger in in, in English. So like there like what got destroyed so much nature, many lakes. And nobody got like any fines or something or just any any big punishments. Was they it just, from they, a mining or was it something was like leaked into the the environment? Yes, some it's, poison. It's the same thing like the mining industry. It made some kind of uh, like not good enough protections, so there was like big leaks. So they said sorry. They changed their name, and then the old company vanished, and the new new like the new continues and nothing happens like so this is why is that things. not in the news you know like probably yeah. one of the most important things yeah it's like the headline news yeah yeah there's just corona hysteria like day in and day out and there's no other yeah. events one in the world was in the news that the leader of the company was saying like i got like one million to work here but that, that's not enough, like, but I think it's enough, like, I, I think 10 million would be enough that I would be happy. So, like... <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, number five is that we should, like, give much more care to the food that we produ produce ourselves. So we, didn't, we don't deliver everything from, from abroad, from China or, or wherever. Like, we have full of fields in Finland and they are like unoccupied. The number is like 50% or something that we are not using. It was crazy amount. I just heard the number like a few days ago. It was somewhere around 50, I'm not sure. Yeah. And then we need to reevaluate re the work. Like why do we work? Like why, why do we work so much that we don't have free time almost at all? Like 60 years ago, they made, made this estimation that if the de development goes like like it, is, it goes with the machines, like we work maximum 10 hours a week. So we have had much, maybe we have had that development and much more, but still we are working much more than 60 years ago. So why is it like this? Why, are, why we are working so much? Why do we make like uh, products that are not lasting at all? Like we, we could do this much, much, much better. Yeah. And then the number seven, like this, like we should be able to decide Finnish people about our, fin our, our own things. Like now, now the, like the main powers in the European Union and the leaders of the European Union who are not elected at all. There are like some uh, members or some candidates there like who are like pu puppets, but nobody knows who has like elected the leaders there. And this number eight, the monetary system, it should be like re reinvented again, how it's like much more democratic and where the benefits comes to the people. Number nine, we should like have the full perspective, like why there is this maahanmuutto. Immigration. Why is there like so much immigration and and like, what's the base reason for the immigration? What's the base reason for the wars? Like who is founding the ISIS and all these kind of things like, and what's the history of Saudi Arabia? Like, how was it born? Like who decided who are the leaders and why do they have the same religion than the ISIS, fi ISIS fighters? And why they are now like, well, 
there is there are so many questions that we should like go deep inside to. And number 10 about our media that it should be much more open to different opinions. Like now it, it goes in even that way that I they just deleted my YouTube ag account because I criticize our government. And now the Facebook just like made this publishment that they will start to delete also like personal Facebook accounts and groups if they are like sharing this message that we're speaking about now. And number nine is that our like, how do you call it? politica Drug policy. And that our drug policy should also also be reconsidered like like the, we could look like from the Netherlands or or other countries where it's more open and Portugal, people, yeah, Portugal, where people can like say much more freely that okay, I have a problem with this. Can I have some help? In Finland, it goes like much way too easy to the to the places where it's like the damage has been done too much already. And. Well, th that, that's, those are these 11 things. And what I want to say about the censorship, like now, now this, like we have this threat that we are not able to freely anymore to deliver our message. So that's also one reason why to go into politics, because that gives one way to go to, to have our message to the public. Because there will come a lot of these questionnaires like, uh, these uh, election machines where all the candidates are like answering what they think about about how things are working. Mm. So through that we can like deliver so much like to the full nation our message. And it's protected in that way that that can't be censorized. Okay, so for other people who may not have a similar system, you mean this thing where you can kind of, you can search any candidate in these elections and see what they answer to these certain questions like there's questions asked and then yes. they can't they can't touch that so you can put even very controversial topics and you can even put about vaccines or anything and it can't be removed from that electoral database mm. that's a very good thing to consider as a strategy of how to get the dialogue going in the public how to get the information out there Yes, the only challenge is that these this so-called like uh, voting machines, like where, like how to find your candidate, there are those questions, but the questions are made by the same media or the same crooks. So you need to have some skills to answer to, like when they are asking something, you use, you use like in a politician way, you, you ask, you say much more important things that they are asking. Like last time there were questions like, do you, do you like more cats or dogs? And that, that's like, why? Why politicians have to answer to this? Like? And then the, like, like there was like a lot of people from the, these minor parties, they organized together. They wanted to make their own election machine like for these questions. And they, they, used, they asked the same uh, supplier for the software than all the, and all the big like companies are doing. But then this, this supplier, it somehow didn't manage to do this, this machine with the right questions. So everything is corrupted, okay. but wow. we just need to know how to, how to work with that. How do you feel uh, going into this, Samuli? Are, are you ready to be in the media and be questioned and, and maybe even ridiculed or marked in, in you know, the public eye? Are you ready to take that position? Yeah, of course. I have already marked and, 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 and like, like uh, I have experienced all, the, all this garbage in, in also back back in the days when I was uh, working at the door at the restaurant door as a doorman like okay. a, yeah like a <laughs> Good pouncer, yeah like a pouncer for 10 years so I have heard everything I want I want to kill you you are you son of a son of a bitch I want to kill you right now so so it's familiar to me so <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that's that, a good image. Like, you know, drunk, d deranged people yeah. trying to go through. That's like a bit like the media, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so it, it doesn't matter at all. Yeah. But uh, I think the, what we say, say uh, in the beginning that, that people are thirsty for the truth, that's, I, I think that's, that's, that's the way it is right now. And if, if, if there's be people and who, who, who talk the truth, the people will listen and, and the things are going, going to go in the right, right direction. But there is uh, the big, big plan. So this, this whole thing is like the, the way I see it, the whole thing is in the bigger hands than ours. So we just mm, play our role here and that, that's enough. So I think people should also um, give up the um, attitude, the old attitude of making, making this, uh, what is Wallankumous or, or like rebellion. A revolution. Yeah. The revolution or rebellion, like the old, old ways, like uh, in, in uh, uh, the wild, violent thoughts and violent uh, revelation. So we, that's, that's not how it's going to happen. So I think we have to just wake up. We have to just wake up that the media in all over the world, not only in Finland, but all over the world is totally corrupted and the politician field like the main field is is corrupted not all like you say not all of course there's a good hearted good heart uh, woman and men in there but but the core the core of the system and when we wake up to that and that's way when when people say okay now i see it i i i i won't obey anymore that's a stupid rule a stupid yeah. thing to read on the mask i will go go sick and my sick children will will go sick sick and i just rip it off and continue to live normally yeah. and when you when you see this the whole uh whole idea of vaccines the whole idea from the beginning to the, this day it's so uh, like how you say can it upside do down. Something? Yeah, it's upside down. How how you can how how can you think you can make yourself uh, health while you poisoning poisoning yourself? Yeah, that's never gonna happen. So you you are also uh, only going to go sick if you are poisoning yourself. Yeah. And that's so it's so so simple yeah you have it's so you simple yes i'd like to add something when you said that everything is in bigger hands but the bigger hands those are like they are speaking through us acting through us so the bigger hands they are our hands we have our own free will and we need to act based on that and so the god like if we if we like think that there is God, like I think all of us do, like God is loving, He gives our free will. So if He th if if He would like suddenly like change things, like not through us, but like doing like some radical stuff, it wouldn't be any more act of love. He wouldn't kind of let us to be how we are. So we need to start to really listen, like what should we do and do it ourselves. Yeah. I totally resonate with that. That's very important to know that we have that responsibility as free children of light. You know, we do have that free will. And if we didn't, we would just be slaves. So because God has given us the sovereignty, it means we have equally the power to destroy or the power to create and heal and, and you know, harmonize our world. 
So it really is in our hands. And together we are like the, you know, the hands of the creator, all, all of us together. So I, I really, I really um, congratulate both of you for having stepped from your vision into the co-creation mode and beginning to realize, uh, you know, put into action all of these visions that you have. That's very, very important. And in Finland, I, I haven't lived there now for 10 years, but, you know, I visit and I've been in touch with people who are there now. And it, and it seems um, that the, the issue from my perspective, and I'd like to hear your perspective as well, is the fact that we've used to kind of become a very kind of model, model society in the world. And we, we perceive ourselves to be good citizens when we are obedient. So I feel the, like the basic Finnish person thinks that we have to um, comply with the law because law uh, is our responsibility and they don't question when does the law or, or norms of the society bypass our free will? When do they hijack our rights? So there seems to be like this lack of understanding that law isn't always moral and obedience isn't always good. Sometimes you have to disobey to be a good citizen, you know? Yeah, that's that's wonderfully put this, like you said. So so um, and also the thing that you have said that that that's great, great, great thing to say that we, we are the ones, we are the ones that we are waiting for. Like like the saying goes so so that's true true and 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 also the, the real realization of the how the things are going like like hundreds of years like centuries like the the conqueror the the top top guys the the top rulers the kings and queens how they hate they rule ruled and make the rule rules and the laws uh, protect themselves and and uh, alista kansa how you say Oppre it. oppress the people oppress the people so we have to really right now wake up for that and 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 start to like you say disobey yeah yeah civil disobedience yes Yes. Yeah. I think there is one kind of upside also this like like why we obey so much is also because like we are spiritual people in Finland even though we don't like really like go so much to church. Like we like to behave good like we don't brag about our materialistic stuff like look how much look how nice car I have look how much money I'm earning. So we are modest people like so just now we just need to wake up and step to our own power and say that okay this is this is not okay like i'm not accepting this and then then we, it starts to happen really nice things here like we are ready like to be to 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 play our role in the bigger bigger picture like concerning about the, our country like, yeah i think yeah, if there was a way to inspire people to find that same kind of obedience and dedication and loyalty, which is so at the core of the Finnish cultural identity, if we could find a way to connect that to the people, if we if we all saw we want to be loyal to our culture and loyal to our families and our people, we could use that same energy to protect ourselves rather than go in this you know stream towards the globalist transhumanist sur surveillance society with microchips and all of that, which is where all of this is leading, of course. Yeah. Yes, we have the fighter spirit inside us, the warrior spirit. Yeah. Like our language is, is it's completely like, like original, like a lot of countries, Sweden, Russia, they have killed, they have tried to kill our language for hundreds or thousands of years and we still have it. So we are fighters, warriors. Yeah. So we just need to now, now like lift the spirit here. Yeah, absolutely. Samuli, did you have something to add to that chain of thought? Mm. 
Yeah, I think Juho, Juho speak it so 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 good and so well. So I I don't have much to say anything more more than this that that he he said beautifully because that's how I feel it. We have the warrior spirit inside of us and and um, <clears throat> I think uh, if if people realize that how much that will um, when you say something like enough and you put your 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 uh, your limit and 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 your um, that that will raise the spirit inside of you and the, and the people who say say it so and and it's it's also also so mm, how I say it so so much fun to do it than yeah. not to do it yeah yeah M much more uh, rewarding yeah. yes yeah rewarding and and it, it 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 will give you joy and and like fruit of the spirit you will yes. get it you will get it when you start to do so there's a saying that um action is the duty and fruit is the right like when you do your when you do when you act that's your duty to act and the fruit will come after that so if yeah. you don't act you will not get the fruit yes yeah and i i speak the fruit of life so when you act you get it but if you don't act you don't get it yes yeah yeah that reminds me of that passage from uh from um is a gospel of thomas from the dead sea scrolls but um it's attributed to to christ having said that if you bring forth what is within you, what is within you will save you. If you do not bring forth what is within you, what is within you will destroy you. So it's like, if we don't express our gifts and if we don't speak the truth that we feel within our hearts, it will uh, corrupt us and, and you know, heart, it will enslave us. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So it's-, yeah, it's, it's In sicknesses. Uh. Absolutely, that's it. Uh, th that's so beautiful that you are bringing a spiritual foundation to your your political party and that you're not hiding it in any way you're celebrating it you're saying we are different and we are different because this world needs a completely different political system like it's we can't continue the same way and expect there to be like a great outcome that's just like pure madness <laughs> we already see that it doesn't work so you're just like we're doing this these are our values and, uh, you know, if you join us, you are safe to speak the truth. Basically, you're also welcoming people to feel safe to say the things what they really feel, because the traditional old paradigm politics, it's always avoiding responsibility and avoiding, you know, talking about these real core issues of our society, whereas you're welcoming, welcoming that. So I think that alone is very empowering and inspiring for people. Hmm. Yeah, so one thing that we are, we are probably offering to all of the candidates is like this kind of uh, self-help material, how to purify yourself, like in all kinds of ways, like physical, mentally, subconscious ways, like there are so many techniques how to impure your, in, like improve your life, to, to give the pathways to make the pathways open for the holy spirit to work and like i guess all of us we have done a lot of this personal work and last night i, I had some dreams that opened some things from uh, from my past lives and like whoa this like message that come through came through like and then like i i feel like this like of liberation like all the time like and it has been really nice like samuli said like when when we start to work for the for the com common good like we get the fruits like i live in a full bliss now like like all the time people is giving me things like and like i just wonder or the life is giving me some miracles 
So like, it's, it's great, right? That's amazing. It shows in your work and also in, bo in both of you, when I speak with you, I feel both of you have this peace inside. And I think that can only be generated when you know that you're, you're taking action for the values that you believe in. It, it creates inner peace. Mm -hmm. So that's beautiful. Have you got any last words to our viewers, anyone who may be also interested in uh, starting a political party in their, in their country or anything that you'd like to share from your experience? Well, I'd like to say about this thing that one person, it really makes a difference. Like all of us, we radiate our own being in so many directions that we, we can't even realize. And then when we start to like organize together, we, we can make really big difference. Like it, and, and it starts from one person. It just starts maybe from two person. And the history is full of these stories, like few people when they gather together and then like so big things started to happen. And if there is such heart behind it, like it will work. Yeah. Yeah, and like Juho said, uh, like we remember the United States, the, uh, the black woman who, who sit on the bus, on the front side of the bus and say, I won't go to the back of the bus. Yeah. So that yeah. started the revol revolution. So, so I agree that this, that every, mm, and, and after all, there is only, only one, only me, and, and we are all one, but, but, but there's only one, there's only you. Like, we have to, mm, uh, we can make this, this life makes a difference. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Beautiful. Yeah, I could wow. say like, this last night, the dream that I have, it was showing me my past life where I, where I wasn't a good guy at all. At all. Like, <laughs> I was completely on the other side. So when I know that I have been doing those really nasty stuff also myself, like it's much more easier for me to now understand the other side on, on this, this life. So the forgiveness, is, it's also much easier. Like in the dream, it showed me like why I, why I did these nasty things. And it was so like, uh, like, like from so little things comes like so big damage easily. Yeah. And, and I think it's the same thing here. Like when we just like find out the truth, how, why things are going, how they are, it's much more to go to the path of forgiveness. Yes. Yes. And we all have different ways that we have been, you know, harming ourselves and others. And we just have to be grateful for, for the grace that ha has allowed us to continue learning. So we're all on a path of learning and uh, we can do our best to just lead by example, because everyone is just looking for the same things in the end. Everyone's looking to be loved and, and to be accepted and mm. to, to find healing. So those of us who've done a lot of that inner work, we can hold the hands for many other people and just, uh, yeah, invite them on this path. Yeah. And maybe I say, say one thing this uh, uh, be, before we stop. Um, it's easy, the, the change is easy. It's not difficult. So we just have to, uh, we can, and we have to, um, like we say, like we say, not obey. Yeah. We just stop the obeying. So, so that's it. Easy. I, I won't. Yeah, I won't wear a mask, and I won't take the vaccine, and I will do my work. I will open my business. We can, we can open the uh, uh, children's hobby places 
and and everything and start to live again yeah yeah because there there is no 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 such thing that was said said to us so it's easy that's the that's my message it's not difficult it's easy so yeah okay. we have that power well that's yeah. great I really look forward to seeing um, how your your work bears more fruits, how your political party uh, is received in Finland. I will continue to talk about you guys as well because I really believe in this that we have um, that we have to. Um, what? Am I still on? Okay, uh, that. Yeah. Oh, to your neck. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I really, really believe in what you guys are doing in in re- wanting to reform politics and bring your your topics to the dialogue by forming a political party. I think that's a wonderful idea. But we have to try many different ways to do this, and that's definitely one way to do it. And I I congratulate you for that effort and wish wish you so many blessings into the campaigns and into the dialogues that you're going to be having with the people and or your interviews. So um, thank you for your time today. And uh, we'll be in touch. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.